Hey everyone, I'm Andrea and I'm a naturalist and educator at Severson Dells Nature Center. And I'm Addie and I'm an AmeriCorps member here at Severson Dells Nature Center. And today we are here to talk about one of my favorite groups of animals in the whole wide world, frogs. There are so many magnificent species of frogs in Winnebago County, but in this video we're specifically talking about frogs that call from late February to mid-April. Hopefully you can get out there and hear them for yourself and make it a goal to identify some of them as well. We'll start off with a well-known, talented caller, the chorus frog. At just one to one and a half inches long, these little friends are tiny. Because of this, they don't live in permanent bodies of water like lakes or ponds. More commonly, they prefer temporary, fleeting wetlands such as flooded forests, meadows, or prairies. Their calls are often compared to the sound of running your thumb over a comb. Let's listen. What does this sound like to you? Next, we'll hear a frog that's a classic resident of Winnebago County. You've likely seen them before, but you might not have had a chance to hear their song, the Northern Leopard Frog. Anywhere from three to four inches long, these frogs live in more permanent bodies of water, such as ponds, lakes, and slow-moving streams. They have deeper, softer call, which can sometimes sound like a chuckle or a creaky door. Can you hear them laughing? A special species we might get to enjoy is the pickerel frog. A little bit bigger, between two to three inches long, these frogs prefer to live in cold, clear water like lakes, rivers, and streams, and especially bodies of water near woods. Their call might sound like a purr, a snore, or a door creaking. Because this frog is extremely rare, if you think you hear them, please try to get an audio or video recording. You can contact Forest Preserves of Winnebago County or Severson Dells Nature Center with your clips, and we can use that information to protect this species. Here's an example of what they might sound like. Next up, we have the tiny, adorable spring peeper. Only one to one and a half inches long, they, like chorus frogs, tend to live in transient wetlands. This is to avoid predation because of their small size. Even other frog species might try to eat them. As their name suggests, their chirp is a peep, peep, peep. When they chorus together, it almost sounds like a distant caroling of bells. What song do you hear? Finally, we'd like to introduce you to the wood frog. Two to three inches long, they're most commonly found in the woods, as their name suggests. They rely on temporary pools of water in the woods as a safe place to lay their eggs. Like pickerel frogs, wood frogs are exceptionally rare in Winnebago County, so to reiterate, if you think you hear them, please try to get an audio or video recording and send them to either Forest Preserves of Winnebago County or Severson Dells Nature Center. That information is so incredibly valuable to our community. Their call almost sounds like a duck quacking. Let's listen. Those were some amazing frogs. Now we encourage you to go out and look for some of those frogs in your area and you'll probably hear some calling such as chorus frogs in the middle of the day. However, some of those frogs can only be heard at night and you probably already know this but forest preserves are locked down in the middle of the night. So what can we do about it Andrea? Yeah. So there's an awesome community science project where you can explore forest preserves at night with exclusive access to look for these frogs and record what you hear. This data is shared with land managers and researchers around the globe and helps them make really important decisions. Being a calling frog monitor only takes a little bit of training and the impact that you make could be huge. If you're interested, be sure to check out our website at severstendells.org or contact me at andrea at severstendells.org. Thanks so much and hopefully you can be our next calling frog monitor.